Hey guys and welcome back to another Rocket League video. Today is the day when Keys and Crates have officially retired and the game has just updated and yeah let's actually check out the brand new updates which brings us credits and blueprints and a few more updates so yeah. Goodbye Crates, hello blueprints. Blueprints are an exciting new way, yeah I think we already know about that. Introducing credits, which obviously replace keys. Okay, let's actually check the item shop first because that's always the the thing I think most people want to see. So um, yeah, here's the item shop. The featured item is the Crimson Fennec import body and the uh, Infinium wheels, which look like default wheels. Uh, okay. I'm a bit surprised that the wheels that are in the item shop are just the default Infiniums, which are not actually worth that much anyway, so that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, we've got the daily items, the Breakout Vice decal, the Rocket Boost, uh, Merc Athena, Coal Bolts. Oh, you can actually get this in painting now, which is interesting because before Light Speed only came by the defaults, but now apparently you can get it in colours, so that's kind of new. Got Nipper Wheels, uh, Octane Dragon Lord. So you can see at the bottom left uh, how much it costs in terms of credits. So, so this is something already I've noticed is that a Crimson Fennec is worth 1200 credits while Default Infinium Wheels is 1400 credits. Uh, which doesn't really make any sense in my opinion. So yeah, that's really weird. I don't think the pricing is completely correct at the moment. and. We got an eShop here, which is pretty much the same as before. To be fair, these wheels look quite nice actually. These are Apex wheels. Anyways, um, so before the update, I left four keys in my inventory and around 970 crates. So, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys some of the, what do you call it, blueprints that I've managed to get from the crates that I left in my inventory. So. As you can see, you've got 400 credits, you get 100 credits per a key. Uh, if you have a lot more keys in your inventory, then you will get a better credit uh, conversion rate. Uh, I'm not too sure why these items are showing in my inventory. All these flags and random decals, so that's interesting. And it seems to have changed the background of the inventory from blue to black, which I'm not a big fan of either, so... Uh, pretty much everything else is the same, as I can probably tell. Only thing that has changed is obviously the crate uh, thing, which has changed into a blueprint tab. So, depending on what crates you had, uh, the blueprint will turn into an item from that specific crate. So I had four players choice crates in my inventory, and as you can see, it's turned into four blueprints. So what we'll do is check out the Player's Choice series blueprints first because I guess that's the best one. Okay, we've got Reaper blueprints. Looks like default wheels. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so I guess I have to click each and every one individually, which is a bit annoying. You can't do it all at once. We've got Scorer Gaiden wheels. Okay. Uh, oh, Grey Twins, I'll take that. Uh, and a Dominus Funny Book, so nothing special there. And our blueprints, which are unrevealed, are over here. So what we can do is click on the blueprints, and it will tell us how much it will cost to build it. So a Grey Twins will cost you a thousand credits to build, which in my opinion is absolutely too much. I mean, a thousand credits is essentially equivalent to 10 keys, so... I mean, this car, when keys were available, only costed like 0.5 to 1 key, so the fact that this car costs now a thousand, 10 keys pretty much, because a thousand credits is 10 keys is a bit ridiculous in my opinion, but anyways, I'm sure a lot of people will be complaining about this. I mean, thousand credits for this is really bad. I don't think anyone would pay 10 keys to get a Grey Twins, uh, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, um... Let's go to, I don't know, uh, Nitro, because we've got 8 blueprints for that, so let's see what we got. 
Okay, saffron fire plugs. Uh, shitty decal. This is actually quite fun. Uh, unlocking these blueprints, seeing what we get. So I'm gonna go through these a bit quick. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do every single one because I have like over 900 blueprints here, and the video will take too long. Uh, not much there. Uh, what we'll do is let's go to Triumph. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting great stuff, unfortunately. I'm hoping to get some exotics, maybe even a black market for Lucky. Um, what should we do now? I guess. Hmm. No, the impact. Uh, what we'll do now is... Hmm. Let's go for some Zypher series. I really wish you could just click once and then it'll automatically open every single one on the option to reveal all blueprints. Yeah, we're not really getting anything great, guys, unfortunately, so... Oh! Picket Blueprint, very... I'm guessing these are just defaults. Oh uh, yeah, they're, they're just default. I mean, like, these are just very rare wheels and they cost 800 credits, which is, just, is equivalent to 8 keys, pretty much, so... I mean, I don't think... I, th I think these prices for items are a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. I mean, I don't think... I think really think they should reduce the prices of most of these items because they seem to be a lot more overpriced than before and and I think most of us have quite a lot of items already in our inventory so it's kind of pointless having these blueprints. Well, we'll go for some elevation now. I mean, I, I'm not too sure what the chances of getting a black market from one of these blueprints. I'm gonna assume that it's really maybe like one or two percent or something like that. Ooh, callable cauldrons. Now we got an exotic there and another one. So let me actually quickly check the price of those exotics. 1400 credits for exotic rules and they're not even painted wow that's crazy i was thinking of opening some of these um blueprints with the 400 credits i have but i mean these are so priced so i don't think i'll be getting um opening any of these let me just check how many so these rare ones are costing 100 credits each so i mean even 100 credits for a rare is quite a bit i would say uh, let me go to, for black. So a black painted. Oh, this is black and striker. That's interesting. That's not too bad. And that costs 200 credits. So I guess we got one somewhat okay item for if anyone's interested in that. A venom decal. Ooh, a cyclone. I'll take that. One thing I'm noticing already is that the blueprints look. The unrevealed blueprints look exactly like normal blueprints, so... I think there's a filter you can do. Potentially. It would be nice if you could um, add a filter where you could just show the unrevealed blueprints. Oh, unknown error, okay. Let's try that again. I guess a lot of people are opening these blueprints, so the game is struggling a bit. Truncheon wheels. Uh, 
Uh, what should we open now? Get some more Zypher. Oh, we got a goop there. Yeah, nice. So we'll open a few more, then I'll probably leave it for tomorrow. Seems like it is struggling to open them because probably thousands and thousands of people are opening these blueprints at the same time as me. And unfortunately we're not getting anything great, so... Maybe we'll get some better luck tomorrow. I was hoping to get something really cool, but I guess not. So these blueprints are unlocked, as you can probably tell by the non-tradable icon next to it. However, uh, when you actually unre unreal the blueprint, it does seem like you can trade it. So that's actually a good thing because I was thinking that they're gonna be trade lock, and you'll have like 900 blueprints in your inventory for no reason. Oh, Crimson Finny Wheel, that's nice. I'll take that. I mean, you can either get really lucky with these blueprints, or you can get really unlucky. I'm really hoping I get one really nice item, like, I don't know, white trade codes or something like that. I mean, really, fidget spinners? Come on. Painted the uh, cyclone, I believe that was. What was that cyclone? Okay, it won't appear here. I don't, I don't know why I'm going on here because obviously it's a blueprint and I haven't uh, opened it. Okay, we'll open five more, so that's the fifth one, fourth one. Come on, you can do it. Third one, second one, and we'll do one more, which will be the Ferocity series. And there we go, guys. Uh, that's just some of the blueprints I've gotten. As you can see, my it's a bit messy, I would admit. I mean, look how many ice blueprints I got. I mean, it's a bit hard to actually... I'm sure you can sort it out by exotics and all that, so... But when you when they're all together, it's a bit hard to find which, which blueprint you want. Uh, as you can see, you haven't got much, unfortunately. Got a grey Twinza, got that black Striker Venom decal. Got two Zephyrin wheels. We did get some um, Crimson... Finny wheels, purple fidget spinners. Purple fidget spinners are 1600 credits, by the way. So, if anyone wants those, then let me know. But yeah, um, the last thing I want to show you is the archive feature. So, I believe items that you archive won't show in your inventory, I believe. So, that's a new feature for the inventory for those are in who are interested. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. It seems like the Rocket Pass 5 hasn't been released yet, so I'm sure that will be released very soon. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what blueprints you get in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.